Hello, this video is going to show how we can run Google tests on an embedded target. Now the starting point is some source code. Here I've got a C++ file I want to test. It's this simple function, special offer get price. It takes three arguments and then returns uh, a price. So I want to test that. So what I've done is I've installed inside of Visual Studio Code, I've installed Google test and I'm using CMake and I've created a simple set of tests here. So I've created three tests and I'm using the expect equals. And so I'm basically calling the function, passing various values and expecting this value back. So let's go and build this and then we can run it using Google test. Okay, that's built. I'm actually using the Visual Studio compiler here. So I can now build that and execute it and there we can see in this particular case, I've got a test that failed. Well, let's take a look and see which test failed. And it looks like it's the test on line 11, where I'm expecting 19, but I'm actually getting 18. So, okay, that's fairly easy to, to fix. But for the moment, I want to go and run this now on my embedded target. So what I've got is a batch file that's going to invoke this Python script. I'm going to run this, and that's basically going to create a TCF, a test case file. I can now go to my unit testing tool, which is tbrun. I've already analyzed my source code. Here we can see the same file, specialoffer.cpp. And I'm now going to go and import my test cases. So I'm going to find the file that was just created. There we have it. I can now load this in. And there we can see I have my test cases. We can see the inputs and expected outputs. Let's go and run this and check we get the same result as we had inside of Google test. So in this particular case, I'm using the Green Hills compiler and I'm running it on, on a simulator, but I could run it on, on, on the target. And as we can see, we have a test that's failed. And again, we can see the value 19. If I hover over it, it should tell me effectively that the expected value was 18 and we saw it there. Okay, if I wanted, I could actually go and view maybe a regression report and we can see, yes, this test fails. We can see the actual and expected value. And I can scroll up and get a, a quick overview of all my tests. And also I can see here that this was created from Google test. Let's correct that. And uh, before we do that, let's take a look at the coverage. So we've run the tests and we haven't got 100% coverage. Let's take a look at our function special offer get price. And we'll view our timing diagram, uh, the flow diagram, should I say. And we can see very clearly we've not executed this block of code here, which corresponds to the three for one euro. So I need to add some additional test cases. So let's go back into Visual Studio Code and let's correct, first of all, this. Let's put in 18. And at the same time, let's add some additional tests for the... Um, I've gotten already here, so let me just cut and paste these in here. In fact, I'm going to cut all those as well. Let's copy those and let's paste those into here. So, okay, so what have I added in here? Well, first of all, I've added in the, the test for three for one euro. So I should now have 100% coverage. And then I've added some additional tests. So I've used expect equals here. I've tried using different expects. And I've also created an additional test here where rather than just passing the actual values here to my function, I've created some initialization code. So let's go and check this builds. Okay, and then we're going to be able to, to run this. I'm expecting this to, to, to pass. Did I press in the right place there? Yes, I did, they've, they've all passed. So that's good. So now let's go and convert this again. So convert it to the TCF file. Let's go back into tbrun. And once again, I'm going to go and do new from TCF and I'm going to load in the updated test case file. And this time we're going to see we have 17 test cases. So we can see these are the ones we did previously. Let's just go and run these and then we'll check we'll have a 100% uh, structural coverage. So once again, it's built it with the Green Hills compiler. It ran it in multi using the simulator in this particular case. We've got the results back. All our tests have passed and we've got a 100% statement, 100% branch decision coverage. So two of the things we can look at here. <clears throat> First of all, we can see this test here was the one where I added some manual uh, coding before the expect. And so I basically 
added to the description the fact that I've added in some declarations and there we can see the initialization code inside there. What about these comparisons? Well, if I go into the sequence tree view and I scroll across, we can see that the default regression comparison routine is going to fail if it's not equal to. If I scroll down to the, the bottom tests, we're going to be able to see that we're able to change the regression comparison routine so we can fail it if it's equal or less than, greater than, etc. And then finally, we can generate a, a report again. So let's go and generate a regression report. And there we can see very clearly we've got uh, an overview of all our tests that have passed. Okay, so that's just a, a quick uh, overview. It's more just a, a proof of concept at the moment, showing how uh, we can, in certain cases, convert uh, Google tests into TCF files and then able to run those on an embedded target. And if you'd like any more information, then please don't hesitate to contact us at LDRay. Thank you.